One more thing that I want to show you is the color panel. And the color panel is still something that I'm trying to get comfortable with. But uh, if you go down here to this icon and click, it'll take you into like a new environment here. And this environment is mostly used for color correcting the different clips that make up your project. And so your entire edit is kind of broken down into different segments here and different clips. And you can individually change and edit the colors for each clip. So with this clip in particular, I wish it was just like a little bit more contrasty. I wish it was a little darker. So I'm going to click that overhead shot and down here under contrast, I'm going to raise that number a little bit. And I like that. Another thing you can do is uh, you can click a clip and you can also change the hue, which kind of changes the overall color. And so I know that chameleons can change color. So this is actually like an interesting edit. Maybe I want this chameleon to be a slightly different color. Cool. You know, maybe even if I wanted that sunflower to, to be a different color, I could do that as well. And maybe this chameleon can be a different color so it stands out a little bit. Cool. So now I can also use this playhead to kind of scrub through and it's looking a little different. So that was kind of accidental, but I like how each clip of the chameleon, it changes colors right in sync with that boom, 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 boom. And I also want this last chameleon to be a different color. It could be blue. You know, I'm, I'm almost liking these bright colors so much that I want to change all of the colors of this piece. Now these look like gummy worms or something like that. Kind of like this purple color there. I think this is this is cool for just this exercise here. Now say I'm ready to share this weird creation and the funniest the, the most fun part about this is like just make something crazy looking like this. Um just send it to your friends without any explanation. See how they react. Okay, so now that I'm I'm think I'm done for now, at least the first version of it, uh, I want to export. So when it's time to export, I want to go to this deliver tab. It's got an icon of a rocket ship on it. And uh, this is the tab that allows me to export this edit that I've constructed here. And so at the very top here, uh, you'll see there are a bunch of presets for uh, different video platforms on the web. There's like YouTube, Vimeo, um, if you click these, this little arrow, you can choose the size that you want. So for this particular project, we did edit in the 1080p. So let's keep it at that size. And so the YouTube and Vimeo options will offer a compressed file that should be small enough to upload to the web. These other options over here are either to export so that you can process the file in another program or if you wanted to create like a really high quality export you can do that but for now just choosing the YouTube option is fine and so you have these different options here for exporting and the main one file name you, you want to give this project a name and I'm just gonna make something up off the top of my head chameleon dreams Bong. under location this is where you would like to save this file. So it's asking you where on your computer you want to put this new work of art. I'll save it to my Dropbox. And I like to do that because I can then access it from my phone and put it on Instagram or something like that. So I'm just going to save it in my Dropbox. Uh, format, QuickTime is fine. Video codec, H.264 is fine. Um, these are just more advanced options as you start to edit more you'll become familiar with these. But for now, I'm just going to add to render queue. What that does is it says, okay, take, render this entire timeline that I've created, and it adds it over here to this render queue. And so there's one last step. You have to click the start render button. And what will happen is now it says rendering in progress. 
and it's going to show me my video as it ex exports it to its own file. Okay, so the file completed, it says completed in 46 seconds, and it's telling me where I saved it. So it's in this E drive in the Dropbox folder in Chameleon Dream, and the name of the file is chameleondreams.mov. This will be different depending on where you save this on your own machine. You can right click it and click open file location, and this will show you exactly where your file is on your computer. And from there, you can upload it to YouTube, you can Vimeo, whatever, Instagram. I really enjoy this process because it just allows you to play. If you can play and work at the same time, that's the best situation. Um, so by playing and experimenting, I can come up with new ideas or this can inspire the next project that I work on. This might even turn into its own project. This might be an abstract interlude that might be a part of something else. You just never know. Um, but if you're ever feeling stuck and you don't know where to start, this is a way to just get started and to create something. Just the process of actually making it, it makes me feel better and that inspires me to do the next thing or the next project.